Today we were graphing equations on the coordinate grid. All right, we've got two equations right in here. And if you notice our first equation, our y-intercept is 5, and our slope is 1 third. Remember, the number next to the x is always your slope. So we're going to start by plotting the 5 on our y-axis. So it's going to be right there. Now I know we've been just focusing on the positive part of the coordinate grid up until now, but now we're going to open everything up. So just remember, your starting point, your y-intercept, is always plotted on the y-axis. Now the second thing we need to do is plot the pattern of the graph. Now our rate, our slope, is positive one-third, which means from here it's going to go up a third of a square each time we go over. So you can kind of see, I'm like, one-third, two-third, three-thirds. One-third, two-third, three-thirds. It's kind of a pain to graph a fraction of a square, and you kind of have to estimate. So we talked about a little way to, a little shortcut, a trick to graphing slopes with fractions. And it goes with this little phrase, rise over run. So when your slope is a fraction, the number on top is your rise. That's how much up, how many squares up you have to go. The number on the bottom is your run. That's how many steps to the right you have to go. Okay? So watch what we do. Instead of going up one third of a square each time, if you just go up one, right three, you'll hit the same spot that we did by graphing one thirds but it'll be a lot easier because you don't have to plot every single little fraction. So up one, right three, up one, right three, up one, right three. I end up hitting exactly the same spots as I did before. Now, in my class, I'm gonna make you graph the pattern of the points in both directions. So you can tell if it's up one, right three this way, I'm just gonna reverse the pattern the other way. There we go. Now, we're gonna use a straight edge and draw the line and I require arrows at the ends of both of uh, both ends of the line because the line will go on forever in both directions and you have to show that it does with those arrows alright let's do one more example here we go y equals 10 minus 2 fifths x so again start with your y-intercept your starting point in this case, it's 10, because that's the number that doesn't have an x next to it. So I'm going to plot 10 on the y-axis. From there, I'm going to use my slope to determine my pattern. My slope is negative 2 fifths. In this case, because it's negative 2 fifths, I think of this as going down to right 5. So my graph's going to look like this. Down to right 5. Down to right 5. And, well, I can't continue it the other way because it's going to run off the graph. But I'll grab my straight edge, line it up, put arrows on the ends, and there's my second graph. So, to summarize, start by finding your y-intercept and plotting that on your y-axis, and then use the slope and the rise and the run to find the pattern of your graph. Draw your line, arrows on the ends, you're good to go.